All right, here we go. Wanting versus committed. There's so many of you that want to lose weight, but your wants are not aligned with your commitments. Here's the thing, wanting to lose weight is easy. It just requires a thought. It requires no action versus I am committed to losing weight. Commitment requires conscious effort, conscious action. And there's nothing wrong if you have not been able to commit to your journey. There's nothing wrong. You have a human brain that is going to resist change, even if it's for your own betterment. And I want you to understand that, that you have a human brain that is built to seek pleasure, avoid pain, and exert the least amount of effort, meaning it wants to remain the same. It is comfortable with what you eat, with your current habits, despite the fact that some of you hate your body, that you think about weight loss. That is what your brain knows and is comfortable with. So when you try to inconvenience, inconvenient yourself to waking up early, your brain's going to be like, no, sleep in, you're tired. Understand that you're going to get that message that if you are not used to meal prepping or even writing a menu, your brain's going to be like, it's too hard. This is too hard. Understand that is your brain giving you resistance to change. But if you are committed, this is where you are like, I am willing to be inconvenienced. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to suck at this in the beginning, right? Commitment should show on your schedule. So if you want to lose weight, what are you committed to doing? And by the way, you don't, if you're having a hard time starting, or continuing, you might want to reduce your commitment level right now. You don't have to have it all figured out. But what can you commit to this week? Can it be water? Can it be getting 10,000 steps? Can it be? And literally, if you want to lose weight, the biggest commitment that I encourage you to have is once you wake up, write down what you're going to put in your mouth and stick to it. And you're going to lose weight. I promise you, you are going to lose weight because all of you know how to lose weight. But is your commitment to emotional eating versus to losing weight? You cannot out-exercise all the treats that you're having every day. You can't. And those are habits that you've gotten into, that I even have gotten into at times. Commitment requires more mindfulness, right? In the beginning, until it becomes a habit. It's like brushing your teeth. Your kids, when they're little, it's like every day, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Do we think about brushing our teeth? No, there's zero energy. It's something that we do. And I promise you, if you put some energy, mindful energy into your commitments, by month two, it's like, oh, this is what I do. Your body will wake up early because it is the habit that you have created. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to end this with what do you want and what are you committed to? That's it.